If you are joining us now is a one man wrecking ball of reason against diversity, equity and inclusion policies in medicine, as well as education. He's the president of Color Rush United. Welcome to Victory News, Kenny Shu. It's great being here. Thank you. Thank you. What set you on your mission against DEI and woke ideology? Well, my organization, Color Rush United, colorrushunited.org, is an organization dedicated to a colorblind America. That should be the ideal with which all Americans treat each other based on the content of their character, not the color of their skin. But you see what DEI is doing in our country today. It is dividing people into groups and asking people to treat each other explicitly on the color of their skin. At medical schools, they have policies that prefer black doctors over white doctors in the admissions process. People are forced to undergo unconscious bias training uh, to label how racist they are. These are all policies that have to be stopped if we truly want a colorblind America. I totally agree with you. Now, you had a major win for e equality and merit in your home state at the University of North Carolina last month. Tell us about that. Yeah, I love how you say equality and merit, not equity, because equity is ensuring that racial outcomes are completely balanced. And that's impossible to do because people have different cultures, people have different styles, different groups have different abilities. You cannot force equity. And yet UNC made a policy that basically said, in the name of solving racism, we're going to force all of our professors, medical faculty to sign statements pledging their commitment to equity, which as we know, is a false construct. So we launched a campaign, Color Us United launched a campaign in North Carolina. We've gotten over 3,000 signatures from North Carolinian people that you can sign today at colorusunited.org. And we did get the Board of Governors to uh, rescind that compelled speech policy. I encourage you, if you're in North Carolina, go to that website and sign that. You've also battled racial discrimination in university admissions like Harvard. You found that admissions officers, quote, most likely don't care about the traits that actually produce value. Explain that and what they're looking for then. So admissions officers at some of our colleges and universities like Harvard, Princeton, Yale, Stanford, uh, they look at race. They look at your race to determine whether you should get in. And actually, what my new book, An Inconvenient Minority, shows is that if you're Asian or you're white, they're going to give you a minus factor in the admissions just because you're Asian and you're white. Why? Because they want more black students and Hispanic students. In other words, they're not looking at your merit. They're not looking at your GPA, your SATs. They're giving you a huge boost just for being a certain skin color. That is the antithesis of what we want in a merit-based society, and that's why we have to fight back. I agree. Now, you have a new book coming out this summer, School of Woke. What motivated you to write that? While I was researching an incon inconvenient minority, I discovered that we do have a distressing racial achievement gap in our country. However, here's the problem. Liberal policies are making it worse. In fact, in liberal cities in the United States, black kids are doing worse than in conservative counties. And so I investigated why, that, why this is. And the truth is, it is because we're putting oppressive policies that teach black kids that America is racist to them. And we do not motivate them to learn. We do not motivate them to succeed. And instead, we spread all kinds of mediocrity uh, throughout our nation. And so this book, School of Woke, directly addresses the crisis that we face in our racial achievement gap in public education. That's so good. You can't teach a negative and hope to get a positive result out of it. Now, we just saw the current administration offer a nominee to head the Federal Aviation Administration with no experience whatsoever in air travel safety, but he was a champion of equity. So are these ideologies you're confronting just as bad for government standards as well? Absolutely. In fact, Delta and United Airlines announced two programs last year where they said they're going to recruit where they're going to recruit 50 percent of their pilots from underrepresented minority backgrounds and women. Uh, I'm sorry, but 85 percent of pilots in our country are male for a reason. It is because men tend to have higher spatial uh, reasoning uh, techniques. And if you are just trying to recruit from underrepresented backgrounds, then you actually are sacrificing the quality of the pilot just to get a certain racial composition. And if there's anything that Americans do not want, 
the lower qualified person. It is the lower qualified doctor and the lower qualified pilot. Amen to that. Where can we find more about you and your organization, Kenny? Yeah, you can look me up at colorusunited.org. Also, follow me on Twitter at Kenny M. Shu and Kenny M. X. U. And then, of course, go buy my new book, School of Woke. It's available on Amazon for pre order right now. Perfect. Thank you so much, Kenny Shu. Thank you for what you're doing, colorusunited.org. Thanks for being with us today. Thank you. Mike?